it's Jessie V, and in today's video we're going to be talking about deadly dresses, which I know probably sounds absolutely bizarre, and you're like, Jessie, what are you talking about? There are thousands of people from history that have died from their dress. So we're going to get into that in just a second, but if you have not seen my previous videos, I have a new Harry Potter backdrop behind me. If you would like to win it, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, my Jessie V channel, turn on your notification bell, and then head over to my Instagram, it is Jessie V as well and DM me your favorite Harry Potter character. Another announcement is that we have a brand new merch website. We have redesigned it, we have relaunched it, it is revamped and beautiful. So if you would like to see our brand new site, I have linked it down below. It looks so awesome, I'm so happy with it. It's magical and beautiful and it's the best. So yeah, go check it out if you have not yet seen it. All right guys, so without further ado, let's get into this video. Now the dresses we're gonna be talking about are from the Victorian era. I'm sure we can all agree that dresses from the Victorian era were absolutely gorgeous, but not a lot of people know that they were incredibly dangerous. In fact, these dresses were once responsible for thousands of deaths per year. So we're gonna be getting into the history about why these Victorian dresses were so deadly, and I'm going to be telling you some specific, very tragic stories about women whose dresses took them to their doom. It's horrible. The first fact that you need to know is that these dresses were very flammable. Victorian dresses were practically designed to be flammable. Most dresses of the day were made of cotton or other open weave fabrics, and some of the petticoats were even made of horsehair. These dresses were often also covered in lace, which burned incredibly easily. So with so many flammable materials on these women's dresses, putting out a dress fire was not a simple or easy process. The dress would become a ball of fire within minutes. And because those dresses were held on with dozens of buttons or laces, there was no no way for a woman to get out of them in time. Now you'd think these dress fires would be a rare thing, right? But it was actually incredibly common and thousands of women would die every single year. But yet they kept wearing them because that was the fashion. Now I want to talk about ballerinas for a second because these facts are horrifying. Even for those who didn't wear the enormous dresses were still in danger. Ballerina dresses were made out of highly flammable material as well. And all of these materials that were used made the ballerinas look light light and airy. It made them look delicate and their skirts would stick out in a very traditional style. However, these fabrics were also prone to light up in a heartbeat when exposed to open flames. And you're probably like, well, why would ballerinas be near open flames anyways? Well, back in the early to mid 1800s, they did not have electricity. So when they were performing on stage, the only stage lighting they had were flames on the edge of the stage, very close to the dancers. In 1862, a popular ballerina arena named Emma Livery was running through a dress rehearsal for an opera when tragedy struck. Her skirt got way too close to one of these flames and her costume lit ablaze within moments. She was just consumed by flames before anybody was able to put it out. Now she was given immediate medical care but she only lived for eight months after the fire because her burns were so severe and it gave her blood poisoning. But she wasn't the only dancer that had this fate. In 1844 a dancer named Clara Webster met the same end. And then in 1861, six dancers died when they tried to help a fellow ballerina who caught fire backstage. It was not uncommon to hear that an entire group of ballerinas burst into flames. I mean, it's, it's horrible facts. The next thing is that a lot of these dresses were actually made out of poison. Victorian dresses were also often dyed with dangerous chemicals and poisons like arsenic. Green was a particularly fashionable color in the Victorian era, and a good way to get that shade was with arsenic dye. So hats, gloves, dresses, any type of clothing were dyed with arsenic if they wanted them to be green. And this chemical also gave women horrible deaths. In 1861, a 19-year-old artificial flower maker named Matilda Skurrer was working with this dye on the daily. And one day she started convulsing and foaming at the mouth and her skin actually turned this harsh shade of green. It was later discovered that there was a high amount of arsenic in her liver, lungs, and stomach. The level was so high that even her eyes turned green, like the whites of her eyes were pure green. And then the flammability factor of the dress only made things worse, because if the dress even had like the tiniest burn on it, it would release those toxic fumes into the air, which the women would breathe in and then die from the fumes alone. Even if they were able to put the dress fire out, the fumes would still kill them. In 1861, Mary and Emily Wilde, who were the half-sisters of Oscar Wilde, they met a similar fate at a Halloween party. 
party. So one of the women were dancing when her dress caught on fire. Her sister saw this and rushed to help her, but the fire spread so quickly and both the sisters perished. Then there was the Archduchess Mathilde of Austria, who also met a fiery end. She was smoking a cigarette and her father was very, very against this and he walked into the room while she was smoking. So she quickly tried to hide the cigarette behind her back, but her dress obviously caught on fire and went ablaze so quickly. Her whole body went up in flames in an instant and she was only 18 at the time that she died. There was also just the danger of daily tasks for women wearing these dresses. Many women who died from flammable dresses were simply going about their daily tasks. In 1865, two unnamed women in New York reportedly died when they got too close to a hot stove and their clothes went up in flames. Then in 1858, another woman died in Boston after standing too close to a fireplace. This was such a problem and because there was no electricity in houses, people relied on oil lamps, fireplaces, candles, and they were constantly just surrounded by open flames. So then finally they came out with what was called fire resistant clothing. The French were among the first to take steps to fight against what was going on. So in 1859 there was a decree that all theater workers must wear flame resistant clothing. Now it says that this clothing was made out of ammonium phosphates, borax, and boric acid. Now the process of doing this made clothes yellow and extremely thick, like it could barely bend, the fabric was so thick. And because of that, many women, and especially ballerinas, refused to wear it because it felt uncomfortable, it looked really weird. They would rather risk it than wear this clothing, which is ridiculous. But by the 1890s, skirts had become even slimmer, meaning that women could move around their homes without being at such a constant high risk of catching flame. And then obviously, once electricity was invented, this problem went down even more because people weren't constantly around fire. Now there was one good thing that I found about these old Victorian dresses. The shape of the dress did have a few benefits. One of those being that a crinoline dress reportedly acted as a buoy and saved many women from drowning. So if any women fell into the water wearing these giant Victorian dresses, chances were they survived because it just kept them above the water. So that was the only good thing about them. Anyways though guys, that is the end of today's video. If I missed any other interesting facts about these dresses, definitely comment them down below. And if you want me to do more videos about strange things that people used to do or had from history, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. But yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!